Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the Worms Reloaded February 2020 series here. We are back with even more matches from our two competitors, Deathwish808 and a load of crap. So far this month, Deathwish has been absolutely dominating. After seven matches, he has won six, and with a seven worm bonus, puts him on 19, a 16 point advantage over a load of crap can a load of crap bring it back in these matches only time will tell but without further ado let's jump into some action uh, and the action's getting underway here with match number one of death wish 808 versus of a load of crap from february 16th here and uh, this is match one of three we went looking for the pit i would assume and we got an indoor map uh, this sort of terrain normally lasts a little bit longer than um, your standard sort of pit. So um, let's see. I think we might see some real tactical play. Actually kicking off here on the right-hand side of the math with Deathwish808. He's going for the bazooka shot. Could we see an easy shot to a load of craps worm here on the right? No, he switched it out to the grenade. He could be going to that uh, worm to the left of him that's got the mine. I think he is. He's lining it up. Throws the grenade, three seconds. Now, where is this mine going to end up? That is the big question. It hurtles down, sets off another mine. I think a load of craps worm there must have initiated the trigger on the mine, and uh, it flew across the map, and the explosion actually dislodged the other nine. A good opening shot there from Deathwish808, though, with the 51 damage. A load of crap though now gets chance for the retaliation with that worm that Deathwish808 just injured. Um... Awkwardly, though, for a load of crap, he's not really got a good position to put this worm. He is surrounded by mines and can't really put it into any sort of safety. Um, so this is going to be an, an interesting shot. I think he may opt to take on Deathwish's worm on the far right of the map near the umbrella. He set a five-second timer on the ground. He has planted the grenade down. He has tried to jump over the mine. It's disastrous. The mine goes off. Both players endure 45 damage, and that's exactly what I was talking about. There was no safe place there for a load of crap to go. He had mines either side of him, and I think it was inevitable he was always going to take some damage. We're now going to take action in the middle of the map here. Deathwish's worm high in the middle, all on his own here. Two worms that he could potentially target of a load of craps here on the left-hand side. Um... Dropping a grenade in either one has got an explosive barrel next to him. Will that um, tempt Deathwish there into going for that for the, the extra bonus damage? If you get the grenade in between, he would definitely get a good chunk of damage here. Let's see what he goes for halfway through the turn. 20 seconds on the clock. He uh, must be calculating with the abacus right now. He's altering the angle. Down to 10. He's got to hurry this shot up or else he's going to... Uh, be turned over with no damage. It's going to bank shot it off the side, down into the pit, nicely next to JJ. Not quite um, on point. Um, 36 damage. Maximum damage for the grenade shots is 45, but nonetheless a sizable chunk of damage, and I'm sure he will be relatively happy with that. A load of crap now with the worm that just took the damage. I think his only option here is going to be a grenade shot out of the pit. Two death wishes worm on the left hand side here. Once again though, he's got to be careful of those mine and that barrel. He's switched it out to the bazooka, so maybe he's going to go for a bazooka shot. I don't know that the wind and the angle he's got here is going to actually allow him to shoot anything else other than going for this left worm. Um, I can understand why he's gone for the bazooka shot. I think the grenade has the, the possibility and the chance to roll down the hill. He's going very tight, though, to this left-hand uh, scenery here. He's got to be ca very careful that this doesn't come back to bite him in the bum. And that mine is going to roll down into the pit. That is disastrous for a load of crap. Um, the explosion went off, and it caused the mine to fall down into that hole where he was, inflicting even more damage on that worm, and uh, a load of crap has not got off to the best of starts here. He's caused almost as much damage to himself as Deathwish has to him. Deathwish with the easy bazooka shot there, and we're going to take another look at that, because that was an absolutely quality shot, um, damaging both of the worms. So let's take another quick look at that. 
The bazooka shot here into the mine from Deathwish straight away also explodes the barrel. But watch that mine. It gets flicked up in the air over to the other side. And while this worm is doing the fire dance, this mine is barreling around. It actually explodes high, which is good for a load of crap. It means it minimizes the damage. But two worms there damaged by Deathwish 808. The official term for that is a twofer. And Deathwish will be very happy with that shot. Let's see what a load of crap can do then with this worm here. I think we're going to see a... Uh, the death of our first worm, actually, here. Surprisingly, it's going to come to Deathwish. He's going to... Okay, well, I think he overshot it a little bit. I think what he was trying to do was push the worm back onto those mines and explosive barrels. I thought he was going to see the death of the first worm there. But um, Deathwish actually comes out the other side unscathed. With this worm, uh, he'll either use a skipping rope or he'll do some... Uh, excavating for future turns. There's not really a lot this worm can do at the minute. The only thing he could do is possibly lob a grenade out of the pit. Maybe he's going to go for that. There we go. And um, see if he can actually get the first uh, death of the match. It's, it's landed high on the parasol. It's it's not it's not a, a terrible shot. He's taken one damage, but it has opened up the um, space for him to get that worm out in subsequent turns uh, i don't think the fire damage is going to affect that 12 worm of his down below so we are back to a load of crap i think it's his 45 worm here on the left it sure is and uh let's see what he's going to do here i mean he's not going to get a kill maybe he's going to go from death wishes middle worm here maybe if he could take out the platform he stood on and make him drop down there's potentially he could hit that mine and uh, cause extra damage uh, he's got the bazooka out. Let's see what he's going to do. The wind is one against him, so it's not really going to affect the shot too much at all. The shot is good. It's underneath, and unfortunately, for that was really unfortunate. It was a really good shot, and he managed to just nudge Deathwish's worm down to the left just that little tiny bit, but in the end, it wasn't quite enough, unfortunately, and um, Deathwish's worm escapes the mine. Uh, unfortunately, J. <laughs> A load of craps worm here at the uh, the bottom middle here is taking fire damage. He's down to 21. That is not good. I think Deathwish has just managed to evade the fire damage here. I think we're just going to see a bazooka shot direct hit here. Hopefully if Deathwish can pull it off, which will cause 45 damage to this worm here. Let's see what he can do. Should be an easy shot from here. Halfway through the turn almost. Uh, not quite full damage, but as good as. So we're still um, over nearly seven minutes into the match here, and uh, we are still four on four, which is quite surprising. But then in these more complicated terrain scenarios, you, you don't see the deaths as um, fast and furious as you would in a pit scenario. Um, Deathwish definitely with a high ground here. He's pretty much got three worms on full health near enough. A load of crap needs to um, catch a break here and, and really try and see if he can be able to um, take down some health of some of these worms of Deathwish. I don't think he's going to be able to backflip out of this pit. I think he's a bit undecided what he's going to do here. Maybe a, just a loft. If, if, even if you can get like a grenade just to sit on top of that ledge, there's the potential that the splatter damage may be enough to kill Deathwish 808 here. But it's got to be a pretty accurate shot to do that. He switched it out to the bazooka instead. Let's see what he's going to do. The wind is with him in the three direction. He's going to go for the high worm. And uh, as they say in worms, damage is damage. And I'm sure he will be happy with that. Um, I don't really think... It would have been a big gamble to try and take out that 12 worm. It would have had to been a pretty perfect shot. And I'm not even sure the splatter damage would have been enough there to take 12 damage on that worm. Definitely should have options here. He, I think he may go for a Plinko bank shot, potentially. Um... No, nope, he's going for a direct bazooka shot. It is direct, and we see the first fatality of the game. A load of crap is down to three. The other option there I wonder whether he would do was bank shot it in and try and get the grenade like he did on that worm's previous turn. Down in that gap, uh, in a load of crap's middle worm there. A uh, grenade in there, would he had a lot of scope for movement, so he, he could have... Easily got the 21 damage and the mine being right next to the worm as well. I don't think that mine's a dud. It might, I don't think it's a dud. I don't think it's gone off yet. I think it's just precariously positioned from the fire down there. Um, anyway, a load of crap here lining up the bazooka shot. It looks like there is a really tiny pixel though in the middle of that gap. He has got to be really careful not to hit that pixel. Or else it could be a wasted turn. Has he seen it? That is the question. Oh, come on. 
Uh, I, he missed the pixel, but he went a little bit too low there. I think the wind potentially may have uh, adjusted the shot and pushed it a little lower than he originally intended. And um, there is no damage on that turn. And we are, as you are, four on three in Deathwish's favor here. Deathwish going for the splatter damage onto the mine. But the mine is a dud. It is a dud. But splatter damage is enough. A load of crap is down to two. We are four on two here. Deathwish's favor. And um, you've got to say, Deathwish's two worms on the left-hand side are sitting pretty happy here. They are not in any under any sort of threat here from a load of crap's worms. And um, I think we could see the deficit reduced here, four to three. Uh, sorry, three to two. Um, a load of crap here with a bazooka shot. I think is going to be the best thing here. Anything remotely close is going to cause enough damage here to take out the twelve worm, and that is going to be a three on two. Luckily for a load of crap, the worm didn't fly flying it far enough. If the worm had have flown just a little bit more to the left near his worm, then the um, death animation would have potentially killed his own worm, which would have been uh, absolutely catastrophic. But uh, Deathwish loses his first worm. We are three on two. Um, I don't think it's going to stay like that for much longer. I think we may see a gren uh, grenade toss. No, a bazooka over there. Once again, though, like the previous shot from Load of Crap, I was about to say anything remotely close and splatter damage will kill, but pixels in the way there of Deathwish caused the rocket to backfire and he causes 45 damage to himself um a lifeline there thrown to a load of crap i think what we're going to end up with here is either one or two of a load of craps worms fighting those two on the left so we're going to see a bit of a strategic play i think a grenade over the top here onto the top of that parasol is going to be the way to go but he has got the bazooka out. Is he going to change it up? Let's see. He could potentially bring it down to a two-on-two -two here if he gets a good shot. He's going to go for underneath. I would have probably gone for a grenade shot over the top, but I'm not playing, and then a load of crap certainly does have a lot more expertise than I do with playing Worms. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. The, the shot is good. It's 26 damage, I think that was. Waiting for the calculation to show. Yes, 26 damage. The worm lives to fight another day. But um, I think you've got to say it is going to go down to a two-on-two -two because um, Deathwish is not going to get another turn with that worm. You're going to see a grenade shot here through the, the gap here between the ceiling and the brolly. What can he do? Can he? Will that flick the mine up? It did flick the mine up, but not high enough to catch um, a load of crap. That was a, a pretty good shot, a good effort. But I think this is the time of the match where we're going to even things out in terms of number of worms uh, and go two on two. It's certainly not going to even out in terms of uh, health. Deathwish 808, they're sitting pretty on 195. Um, and a load of crap is uh, not looking too healthy, shall we say. Bazooka shot is up. Direct hit. That is going to be catastrophic, though. I think it may, we're going to see some splatter damage from this death animation onto a load of crap's worm. We do. It's seven. It takes him down to 45. So a load of crap is down to a total of 49 playing death, which is 195. It's two on two. Let's see what happens here. I think we're going to see some uh, a few rounds of terraforming here in this map because there's not really going to be a lot that's... Um, going to happen from this worm that's for sure a load of crap may get lucky on his next turn he may be able to get a grenade like Deathwish did in between that ceiling and that brolly although we are using his foreworm on the left hand side here so the angles are going to be quite restrictive um, with regards to that but uh, a load of crap thrown a lifeline here he does have the potential to bring it back we got seven minutes and 20 on the clock so plenty of time for terraforming and tunneling and whatever you want to do to try and get to the side He's very close to that lip there. I'm surprised he's playing this shot. Um, there was the potential there with the bazooka to uh, it come back on him. But I think he's switched it out now to the grenade. He's going to go for, or at least attempt, what I potentially suggested. It's not quite high enough to get uh, in the brolly. But um, that is going to open up some avenues um, to potentially um, get something else in there at a later stage in the game. Deathwish with his high worm here next to the brolly. I think we're probably going to see another placed grenade through this. 
Um, he's readjusted the timer. Did he learn anything from his first attempt? And that was it was looking pretty good. I think a two-second timer on that would have definitely inflicted some of the damage there on a load of crap's right worm. And I think a load of crap has got to be getting pretty nervous given that Deathwish808 has already um, lined up and had two good shots. The wise thing to do, as a load of crap has done here, is move the worm and don't give Deathwish a third shot with that worm. Um, given that he's already got two rounds of experience and he's, he's had a feeler for where to shoot that. Um, let's see, though, what a load of crap can do here. He's got the bazooka out. We're almost down to 10 on the clock. He switched out to grenade at the last minute. It's over. Unfortunately, the bouncing there. I think he would have got away with a one-second timer almost. Possibly two. But that wasn't a bad effort. That was a pretty good shot. It would be a good sort of pointer for his uh, his next attempt, that's for sure, as long as worms stay as they do. Deathwish again doing terraforming, causing seven damage there and slightly moving his own worm. Let's see how that plays out. Um, I mean, there's not a lot that that worm can do at the minute. The wind was against him as well. So I think Deathwish was potentially trying just to adjust against the wind, but at the same time, um, miscalculated and caused little damage. He can afford it, though. He's still on 188 overall. To a load of crap's 56. What did I say he was on 49? I apologize. I got the calculations wrong earlier on. Must have seen more damage than I thought. A load of crap now with the two-second grenade here. I don't think that... Oh, my, what a shot. That was a fantastically lofted grenade shot there. Wasn't expecting that at all. Let's take another look at that one. By no means an easy shot here. He did this pretty much blind. He throws it up here, catches the ceiling, and it bounces just right next to Deathwish08 for the perfect damage on that grenade shot. A load of crap there pulling out a fantastic shot at this stage in the match. Back with the action here, Deathwish808 with the high worm here. He now has free passage, though, into this left, right, sorry, right hand side of the map. He's on the left, not uh, a load of crap. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to jump over there, but surely this is going to open up some more um, interesting angles for Deathwish. He's um, not sure what he would do here. Possibly go to the far right worm. Maybe he's looking to open the areas up a little bit more instead. So, um, yeah, one more shot there. And you're going to open up that area. But like I've said in the past in, in these matches, you don't want to be the one that opens up that area, especially if the opponent's worm is really close because that you're effectively giving them free reign and a free shot at you. Um, a load of crap here. I don't really know what he's going to do. His previous shot was pretty good, but everything has changed since that um, last shot with this worm. Uh, he could try and put it over the brolly in an attempt to try and catch those pixels to the left and roll it down towards Deathwish's worm, but I'm not sure that's going to work. It does seem like that is the shot he's going for. He manages to get the blinker on the right-hand side as opposed to the left. Um, causes 11 damage there to Deathwish's worm and um, not really opened up a lot of the geometry to actually affect him either. So things are starting to happen in this map we are down to 444 on the clock time is ticking we may even see our first sudden death scenario of this championship but uh we will wait and see death wishes worm here on the left hand side is next up to take his shot what can he do um he could potentially he's going for a bazooka shot i think he's trying to open up a bit of a top angle there for his worm he could have potentially tried to throw a grenade into that gap near his worm the only problem with that is um it could have it has the potential to go catastrophically wrong i don't actually think he would have got an angle out of that grenade to um get near any of a load of craps worms there so we're back with a load of craps worm here. His four worm. What can he do with his four second timer? Can he loft it up again? Can he get it to roll down? And can he cause more than 11 damage? He's set the timer to four. Can he remember the power? He's got it up. It rolls down. And uh, just like that, Deathwish is down. Two one worm in a load of craps favor. It is now two on one. Deathwish still has the majority health, but um, the tables have turned here in a load of craps favor. And um, the only thing now is... 
we have got some serious cross map action that's about to happen we've got one worm on one side of the map two worms on the other side of the map no clear passage we're going to see a lot of terraforming here so um i don't think anything interesting is going to be happening in terms of like shots and, and plays we're going to see a lot of kind of like trying to get worms across to the other side this is one worm though i don't think that he's going to make it there is no way that they're the with the terrain as it is um, this worm is going to be able to traverse across so the only way this worm is going to be able to kind of get into the action and uh, make any plays is to sort of really open up an area which is why he is pulling out the bazooka to try and take out the top i would assume that brolly once that brolly is gone i think this worm comes into play but for now i don't think um there's anything he is going to be able to do we're rejoining the action here with just over two minutes left on the clock the geometry has been going down turn by turn here and um i think we're going to start to see some potential plays here a uh, load of crap now for the first real rocket shot here on Deathwish's worm for the left hand side and we finally have some damage here on the worm 11 is caused and i think we're going to start to see some cross map damage now um quite a few turns went by um just then i'm teetering on the grid mine see where it goes there's quite a few turns of just sort of like taking out bits of uh bits of scenery and um like like you can see a load of crap has finally got a passage through to Deathwish 808 who uh in turn can also um take that passage and use it to his advantage um a load of crap is a little bit restricted though because of his position of the worms and that big pit that leads down to that water there he doesn't really have a way that he can adjust the the worms angles too much so this worm for instance is is a very restricted as to what he could do i think the best thing he could do is try and take out the remainder of that brolly which he think he tried to do there with a lofted grenade it didn't quite work so until that is gone um, I don't really see, even when that's gone though, I don't really see a way that that worm can really get into this match. We are coming down to the wire here. 1 minute 10 left on the clock, 39 on the shot clock. Deathwish lofts the rocket over, clears out some more of that debris here. The shots may start to come thick and fast, but if not, if we are calculating shots, we are potentially going to see two more turns before we hit that sudden death. The gong is going to go and the water is going to start to rise. And then the panic will set in. Deathwish currently with the high ground. Will a load of crap start thinking about sudden death? Or is he just going to go all out for the kill? He gets another rocket shot there on Deathwish 808. Bringing his worm down to 65 health. Um, it's going to come close though. Deathwish has the high ground. Um, a load of crap there though has quite interestingly taken out Deathwish's ability to go any higher with those uh, uh, bazooka shots. Deathwish is another one, lofts it over, causes four splatter damage. The shots are starting to come in now, and this match is going to go extreme. <laughs> extreme? What am I talking about? It's going to get really interesting real soon. Um, I almost think a load of crap could do without this worm, and then the, the 1v1 battle would do a lot better in this instance. But um, we're down to 40 on the game timer. Can is a load of crap going to string out this turn and bring it down to sudden death or is he going to try and force Deathwish into another shot i think he's going to try and take this one he does indeed 28 left on the game clock he finally takes out that brolly and now there is clear pa almost clear passage at the top of the map it's definitely going to open up for some more interesting angles going forward Deathwish now his turn is 20 on the clock he does take his turn a load of crap is going to get another go before sudden death Deathwish has rainbowed that bazooka over the map and opened up a direct passage now to that four worm of a load of crap that is going to put him in immense danger and in a very precarious position here a load of craps now worm far side of the shot this could be our last shot of regular time clock is ticking down 10 9 is he going to hang it out or is he going to take the shot he's going to take the shot Deathwish is going to get another shot in regular time 17 damage from a load of crap the tide has finally turned and a load of crap finally has more health than Deathwish 808 it is very marginal this is going to be the last shot though the timer is run to zero we are going to go to sudden death after this turn and it's going to be a matter of who can get a bit of splatter damage the first you'd have to say as long as a load of crap has this worm on the right uh, that's uh, a wayward shot as long as a load of crap has this worm on the right he is the previous two shots 
uh, sorry, previous three shots, he has hit Deathwish 808 with a bit of splatter damage. So you've got to say, in this situation, in sudden death, a load of crap is looking very, very strong. Also, with all that debris gone, this other worm here now, he could go lower and get a better angle, and this could be um, this could be the match-winning shot here for a load of crap. This is much needed with the two worms. This would bring him, uh, give him a good point haul from this match to try and eat into that 16-point deficit in the league table. Let's see what he can do, though. It's got to be a bazooka shot, surely. It's got to be a lofted bazooka shot over the top of that. Any sort of splatter damage will do a load of crap. Don't overthink it, my son. Come on, you can do this. I'm rooting for you. It's over. He's hit the pixels. Can you believe it? He wasn't able to capitalize Deathwish now with the shot. The water is going to rise, but a load of crap's worms are going to be safe for a few more times yet. Deathwish, again, though, splatter damage. It brings it down to one-on-one. -on -one. There it is, direct shot. What a shot that was. A direct hit with the bazooka. We are one-on-one -on -one and now can a load of crap get that splatter damage and take three points from this or will the three points go to Deathwish 808? Only time will tell, but this worm has got a pretty good history. But look at that. The wind is completely against him, three against him. How is that going to affect things? The angle should be good. So if, if the angle is workable he could go grenade he has gone grenade it's come just right just enough time he catches the splatter damage and finally a load of crap breaks deathwish 808's win streak he gets the big w he gets three points on the board and he slashes the deficit in the league to only 13 points Welcome back, Worms fans, to match number two here between Deathwish808 and a load of crap commentary from myself, Knock. We have got a pond here for match number two, but I am still absolutely buzzing from match number one. I am so happy for a load of crap in that he was able to bring back that deficit slightly to Deathwish by three points. We need to uh, see a few more strong performances from a load of crap like that. And it was interesting to see that uh, out of in eight matches, that is the first one that has come down to sudden death. Um, a load of crap though first up here on the pond map he's got the bazooka he is aiming and that is death wish straight down to one worm i don't think we're going to have a long drawn out map like we did in the previous one but like i said um in that commentary the um pond maps offer up quick deaths whereas the uh, when you don't get the pond it's more strategic there's more obstacles in the way and you don't have as many direct lines of fire Deathwish here, probably going to do a cross map uh, bazooka shot, if I had to guess, trying to take out a load of crap's worm on top of that brolly. Got to be careful though, four wind against him. He doesn't want to be um, taking and causing damage to his own worm. I think he's giving it some consideration here, and I think he's going to swap it out. He does to the grenade. Um, I think that's the safer option, but he still has to be quite wary of that barrel that the fire doesn't rain down on that worm on his bottom right there. Shot clock almost down there. He was down to six on the shot clock. The bounce and it goes down and he isn't able to capitalize and cause any damage to a load of crap. Interestingly though, what is a load of crap going to do here? You have to say that um, having those three worms surrounded by that one of Deathwish with all those mines and barrels is not really um, a good option. And uh, I think we're going to see a jump rope there from a load of crap because quite clearly that worm is in a position where nothing is going to happen. Quite similarly, though, this worm for Deathwish isn't in the best of positions. He's quite um, quite confined. Bazooka shot, though, is enough to cause splatter damage, and the momentum pushes a load of crap's worm off into the drink. A load of crap takes the high ground in terms of health, but we are three on three, and um, it's shaping up to be an interesting match for sure. What's going to happen here, though? This, this is the shot I am most interested to see what is going to happen because there are so many explosives around a load of crap here i think whatever he tries to do he's going to inflict damage on at least one worm potentially two because of that one directly below that one directly below is very exposed to fireballs let's see what happens though he curls the shot round. that was an amazing shot he manages to save one of his worms at least the other one is doing a fire dance let's get an action replay of that because that was quite a good shot from a load of crap 
Normally in this position, you would be struggling for shot, but just look at how pixel perfect this shot is. It literally pixels away from that barrel, clutches the end of the brolly, sends Deathwish's worm into the drink here. The mine, though, comes back and hits the worm that just fired the rocket, sending him into the air and into a fire dance while propelling his other worm down onto the top of that barrel. Big damage there from a load of crap, even though he sustained quite a bit for himself, but I'm sure he'll be happy to reduce Deathwish by one worm. We are three on two here in a load of crap's favours. Deathwish, though, is going to make short work of that, I'm sure. Um, he goes a little bit too high, but the fire damage again to a load of crap's worms. Is that going to be enough to take him out? No, it's not. I thought he'd probably aim there for the lower left worm and try and... Um, because a direct shot or relatively close shot would have taken him out. But now the tables have turned in terms of health. And Deathwish has the higher health overall. Three on two though in a load of crap's favour. Let's see what he can do here. I think he wants to try and open up that upper alcove here. To try and allow a few more shots. I think we might just see a bazooka shot here. To open it up. No, he's gone for the grenade. So maybe he's going to try and get a grenade in between that tiny gap at the top right hand side of the map. Five seconds on the timer. He launched it across. It's quite low. He couldn't even make the, the middle right worm. And that grenade is in the drink. And he has left that worm very vulnerable and open here. Um, that's not that's not going to be a good situation. And I think we could be seeing a two-on-two -two situation brewing here as Deathwish brings his worm over the crop. What is he even stood on there? I can't even see that pixel he has stood on. I'm going to call hacks. He is him with the, the bazooka shot there. He is down and out. Uh, not quite a direct hit, but it doesn't matter. He was um, less than full health. And we are two-on-two -two back in Deathwish 808's favor here. And you've got to say that if Deathwish can reduce it to a two-on-one or even a one-on-one -on -one situation, what is a load of crap going to do with that um, <clears throat> top left worm there? I don't think he's got any real options there. He's got to take damage, but how can he minimize that damage going forward and bring that worm into play? Let's see what Deathwish does here, though. I, if any sort of grenade shot that could just loft a drop in that hole or near that hole is going to cause an end to that worm. He has got the full health though, so we may see a bazooka shot. He's thinking about it. He switched it up to the grenade here though. Let's see what he can do. I think he's going to just try and loft a grenade in the top. Um, grenade in there would just be absolutely catastrophic and there would be no coming back from that, of course. Five seconds on the timer. The shot clock's almost down. We was down to six. Ultimately, the grenade was too short and uh, a load of crap lives to fight another day here. He's going to have to bring that worm in now. Is he too down? Is he too far down in that pit, though? Can he get out of that pit? The right edge of that pit looks like it's got an angle you can walk out of. Uh, it does indeed. I thought for a moment as well there that his own player's gravestone was going to be um, blocking him there. He's, he's trying to take a bit of high ground here. Can he get up on that ledge on the left? We'll see. I, I think it's too close. I don't think he can backflip quite enough to get on there. He's going to try, though. Nope, he's given up. So I think we're going to see an attack on the 77 worm here. I don't think he's got a good enough angle to go for the 100, although the shot will level out with the wind. If he goes high, the wind should bring it down slightly. So let's see what he can do here. Can he get the right power and the right angle? He's going for full shots. That does, to me, suggest he was going for the top worm, but it was kind of in the middle of both. And Deathwish survives yet another turn unscathed as he brings his 77 worm into play here and you've got to think that a bazooka shot is going to happen here i see the pixel he was stood on now i i, re I re revoke my statement of hacks but um man i didn't see that pixel you couldn't see that pixel when his worm was stood there you've got to think though that this worm is going to be out of here this time he's not but he's potentially opened up a way for that worm of a load of craps now to fall down and get into some action here a load of crap down to 108 health overall to 177 um, still not in a relatively good situation. He really needs to get a damage shot on that top worm of Deathwish 808. So there we go. The, both of the worms are now into play. And um, that's definitely going to help him. I mean, you got to admit, when he's down on them two worms and that worm is boxed in behind that bottle, he is pretty much effectively losing a turn. Deathwish is getting two to the one. So, um, yeah, that's just the way a worm sometimes, unfortunately. The grenade shot is a direct shot onto the pixel. That was a really, really good shot. Reduce, and the extra fall damage as well reduces his health to 31. 
but still death wish has that high worm with 100 health and um you've got to think that um the pendulum is swinging in death wishes uh court this time around switches it out to the bazooka probably go for a high shot above the pixels if you can manage it no it's gone low direct shot to the 82 worm um, I don't think we're going to see any extra damage, but um, yeah, that's literally two shots now. On uh, one shot on each worm could potentially bring the game to an end for JJ. So not looking good at the minute for a load of crap. He really needs to open up that top right area here and try and um, expose Deathwish's worm. Without doing that, he's he's really is stuck. Um, it's quite an awkward shot. You would have to put a rocket in there. There we go. He's opened it up slightly, but he has pushed Deathwish the Worm further back. Splatter damage, though. We have At least he's damaged the Worm. That's a good start. If he can do another shot like that in his next coming turns, he's really going to open up that top area, potentially making Deathwish's Worm fall down to the ground and it really exposes him. Rocket shot from the 808, which just hits the pixels. So um, a load of crap it gets an unscathed turn there. What's he going to do here, though? I think, looking at the win, we're going to have to see a grenade shot. I would potentially go for... I, I think with a grenade shot, you've got to go for the Broly guy. I think he's keeping his bazooka out, though, at the minute. Maybe switch him. We'll have to wait and see if the animation changes. Readjust the angle. The wind is totally against him, though. Yeah. Against a four wind, that was always going to happen. And it's quite mad that in hindsight and in commentary I can say these things, but when I'm playing these, when I'm playing worms myself, I don't actually um, take on board my own sort of commentary. I wish I could like commentate myself. Uh, that's a direct hit, and that is a load of craps worm in the drink there, bringing this map down to a two-on-one situation in Deathwish 808's favour. It looks like all the hard work that uh, a load of crap put in on the previous map to reduce the deficit is going to be potentially undone here. Bazooka shot again, chipping away at that ledge of that top right worm, but not enough. You gotta think though, Deathwish 808 in this position, looking at this right now, is gonna come away with this map uh, with an extra point, saving both of these worms here. I think it was just really unfortunate for a load of crap that his worm was stuck on the left hand side behind that bottle, unable to take a turn for such a long time in this match. Um, Deathwish with the wind and the bazooka, you've got to assume he's going to loft one over the top and this is going to be game over. Let's wait and see. He's running down the shot clock for some reason. don't know if he's maybe fine-tuning that abacus of his to uh, get the perfect shot. Let's see. Still ticking away. Almost down to 10. Maybe he's just toying with a load of crap here. There's the shot actually from Deathwish 808. It's lofted over the top and there is your game. Unfortunately, though, for a load of crap, Deathwish survives with two worms. So that 16-point lead he came into these matches with tonight is extended now by one point with that two-worm bonus. Welcome along, guys, to the third and final match of the evening here. We have got another pond situation, so expect once again the action to be thick and fast. We are kicking off here with a load of crap and... Um, it looks like Deathwish is the one that has the worm pinned in on the side of the map, although there is a little alcove there for him to escape, which I'm sure a load of crap is very wary of. Once again, though, it is clustering worms together. A load of crap, as with the previous one, on that look, the high right area has two worms clustered together. It's definitely not a good place to be. But um, what is he going to do here? I think it looks like he's maybe going to play it safe and drop a grenade in down in this pit here. He does indeed. And uh, starts off with a 45 damage here on Deathwish's Worm. Did he even cause 7 damage to himself? I think he did. So, uh, not quite sure. I, well, I am sure why he didn't retreat. Um, he didn't want to expose himself. He wanted to kind of like leave himself so he wouldn't fall into the drink, I guess. But um, you got to say, placement-wise, a load of Craps Worms haven't been the best in these last two uh, matches. And he's been really, really unlucky, which... Uh, like I said previously, that isolation of that worm on the right left-hand side in the previous match certainly cost him a turn. Deathwish was having two turns to his one. What's Deathwish going to do here? Potentially leave a grenade on this worm. No, he's going for a bazooka shot, interestingly. 
He's going for the worm on the other side. Catches the explosive barrels. Is that going to be enough damage? We've got fire down there as well. 67 damage. We could see, though, some fire raining down on that 55 worm. And um, that could be catastrophic. Those two worms could be out of the game anytime soon. Picking back on the action on the right-hand side here, we now have a load of craps high worm here. What will he do? I mean, it. I think he's going to go for the low, the low left worm. If what, that's probably what I would do. It's very awkward for him to go and have a have a have a pop at this lower right worm because of the position of his worm as well. He's potentially, if he wants to do that, he's going to have to take a sacrifice. The fire falls down there on the left-hand side, as I predicted, causing six damage there to Deathwish's worm, but. Um, He's got to also be very wary of that fire above that lower left worm. That's going to drop down at some point. But you've got to imagine that this is going to be the end of this of a load of craps worm here. 23 health, a grenade shot, probably just going to be planted on this worm. And um, Deathwish is going to take a three on two. Ad uh, sorry, a four on three advantage. I'm getting ahead of myself. Puts his worm in a r relatively weird place there. I think he's going to actually maybe damage and even kill his own worm here. The fire is right above. I think we've even missed there a death of a worm. Let's take another look at that on the replay, though. We wasn't paying attention. That lower left worm of Death Wishes has gone into the drink. Just take a look here at what actually goes on and what we miss. While well, all this bazooka action is going on the left-hand side, keep an eye on that fire above that uh, right-hand worm there. It drops down totally unconnected, causes this worm to fire dance twice, and he is in the drink and out of here, and Deathwish 808 loses yet another worm. Back now with a load of crap. All that fire on the left-hand side there seems to have gone out. And Deathwish looks like he has actually pinned in a load of crap's worm here. Uh, he does manage to backflip out of it quite luckily, though, for a load of crap. Um, he didn't land too far and inflict fall damage. If you inflict fall damage while you fall, then your turn is over. The grenade is positioned behind Deathwish. Is it going to flow him into the water? It's high. It flies him in between the explosive barrels instead. 56 damage, though. That's a good chunk of damage. The uh, 11 damage over the grenade damage. Um, unfortunately, the angle wasn't quite right, and it didn't put um, Deathwish's worm into the drink. But uh, you have to say here, Deathwish is... Um, not looking good in that position. If if JJ is happy to take a, um, if, if he's happy to take damage on that worm, he could potentially get double damage. But Deathwish has now moved one of those worms. He's moving up that right hand side here. I think he may be looking and and he's. I think Deathwish is going to take the damage on his own worm. If I'm honest here, looking at the way he's setting things up here, I think we're going to see a big boom right there. We do indeed. His worm is up in the air the load of craps worm does the fire walk survives though death wishes worm is the one that took the brunt of the damage 125 damage in that exchange and uh, we are back to a th three on two sorry i had to count <laughs> three on two in a load of craps favor with a load of crap to play next you've got to imagine that this is going to do this is going to be a, a big hit here the worm on the barrel it's going to cause extra damage but you've got to be careful of that mine on top of the bottle watch where that mine's going to go it doesn't move death wishes worm though does set it off is that going to be enough to kill death wishes worm not quite he survives with eight damage but my oh my have the tables turned in turn in favor of a load of crap i initially thought his worm positioning was absolutely terrible and he was going to have a horrific game but um so far so good this is turning out i think we may be going down to a two on two though a uh, shot here is going to take out part of the brolly potentially or is death is going to try and bring he's going to try and bring this worm down actually instead he does quite successfully does a fire dance as well but um Again, though, now, a load of crap's worms are all clustered together, and that's going to make damaging this eight worm very, very dangerous for a load of crap. But on the flip side of that for Deathwish, it's going to allow Deathwish big, big damage on potentially two or more worms. I think I would be inclined to do what a load of crap's doing here with the wind, is, is trying to attack this worm. He does indeed 30 damage plus the six. That worm is out of here. We are three on one here. Can you believe this? This is quite a monumental comeback in this game for a load of crap. What is going to happen here, though? What can Deathwish do in this situation? 
I think the worm is realizing he is screwed. He is he is going to go to the death here. He's doing some sort of oh my god, what am I going to do kind of dance. Um death wish position, I could potentially see this coming down to 1-1. One one. Can he hit this room with the bazooka? I think it's over. Did he inflict enough damage on himself? He did. A load of crap takes the win with two worms to spare. I did wonder there for a moment, was Deathwish trying to bazooka shot that worm into the other worm to try and get rid of two worms in one? He wasn't able to do that, but a load of crap is going to be really happy. The fact that he managed two wins here and he did manage to get a match with more than one worm surviving. But with all the, all the action done and dusted, let's take a look at the standings. You've got to imagine that a load of crap is going to be happy after this one. He manages to eat into Deathwish's lead. After 10 matches, Deathwish has won 7 and lost 3 with a 9 worm bonus. But a load of crap with those 2 wins tonight brings the deficit down to 13 points. A reduction in 3 with his 2 wins today and extra 3 worm points for his surviving worms. Some good action today and I really enjoyed that tense first match outside of the pond i uh, hope you enjoyed the action too let me know in the comments who you think is going to come out on top and win this series but until the next time thank you very much for watching i've been knocked this has been worms goodbye